Thanks so much for checking out this 2009 Buell Ulysses with 29,000 miles on it. This bike we just went through at full service, runs out beautiful. It's uh, It's got the top box, side, side cases, side panniers, it's got the engine guard. Uh, it's in relatively nice condition, it runs out great. It's got relatively new tires on it. Good looking machine, these were Pretty cool bikes, a little sport tour here. Carbon fiber tank, go ahead and start it for you. There you have it. So there you have it. This is Jim Curry from Integrity Auto and Power Sports. You can reach us at 386. 788-1555 or on the web at www.integritypreowned.com. Give us a click or call today. We'd love to meet you. Love to earn your business. Have a great day. Ride safe and sober. We sure hope to see you soon. Buell S1W White Lightning. If you are a Buell dork, you know exactly what this is. For those that are not familiar, this is a very, very special uh, Buell motorcycle. The White Lightning, even though it's not white, the White Lightning they only made 1998. Came with different heads. You can see that the heads are black there. The main change came with better heads. Gave it like right around I think it's 10 more horsepower one year only and then what we're looking at here this is a very special model or an example I should say just in terms of it's only traveled 5,500 miles so most of them out there they above like 10 15,000 miles at this point so very low miles on this one for something like this also it's not all boogered up it's largely stock there's a few Buell race kind of additions which are really nice tend to be desired by the Buell community and you notice the color combo on this this is a stock color combo it's called the the purplish bluish there it's kind of like a pearlescent color that's called nuclear blue and then the orange is called molten orange one of the more stunning color combos available on these but just very very pretty machines and in terms in terms of those people that are kind of into these buells this these tend to be like out of the lightnings this tends to be the kind of collectible model so with this one with the low miles the preferred color combo I think they made right around 200 in this color combo and it being a white lightning this is kind of um, a lot of Buell enthusiasts' holy grails right here, and it was my holy grail, but I have too many bikes. Too many bikes. And that's, so I gotta let go of something here. So this thing, very, very clean, very nice shape. As I said, it's only traveled 5,500 miles. I've personally put on, I don't know, 600 of that very well sorted kind of just a hop on and ride bike not really much to complain about on it <laughs> we got a little chip here you can see that the rims are beautiful a couple of little chips here and there you got the stock WP suspension The stock orange paint, this has not been repainted. The stock orange paint is in beautiful shape. The frame has not been repainted. The frame is in very nice shape. We still got our Buell sticker here. Um, I have not fully detailed this bike. I've just kind of cleaned it a little bit. I've not gone through polishing it and so on. So with a little bit more polishing, elbow grease kind of stuff, this thing will turn out even better. You can see we got our 
motor number here and the Y, if I remember correctly, because it starts with a Y, that is um, confirms that it's a white lightning, which again, you get these better heads, more power. Still has the stock carburetor on it. I put a, a oil catch can on there, battery new in 2021. Uh, a lot has been done to this thing, just in terms of like um, new rear shock, I think bearings, obviously oil changes, new battery, uh, all kinds of stuff. <clears throat> Some other stuff you'll see here, it has the Buell race kit, so it has, again, very kind of demanded uh, features in the Buell community. So it's got, it has a um, larger diameter header, and then it has the Buell race muffler. I'll show you some stuff on the other side, of course. And you can just see here, I like the, the tank and the tail, very nice shape. A little chip, a couple little chips here and there. Chip, chip. The factory um, stickers. The factory stickers are known for bubbling up. So those have been replaced with some later stickers to get rid of that kind of bubbling up. I do have the stock mirrors. So those, those I do have. And you can see that these controls are all in really nice shape. All the lights work, blinkers work. Seats in great shape. Tail's awesome. You can see that the sticker is underneath the clear. That is factory paint. Um, one really nice addition, the, these Buell rear sets. Very, un very uncommon. Um, we find those. Tires are newer. Probably like 700 miles on the tires. They did come stock with this is stock. This uh, fender here, or whatever you want to call it, mud guard. That's uh, carbon fiber stock from the factory, which is pretty cool. Got your oil tank here, and you can just see underneath here. This is all really clean too. Frame's really nice. It's not like rusty or anything. Stock gearing. Here you can see the Buell logo on the, the rear set foot pegs. And then you can see the, the upgraded replaced shock. I believe this is from Europe. I don't remember the name of the company, but this I think the shock alone is like 500 bucks. Um, and then we got so with the race kit, you got the different filter, like I said, the headers, uh, different jets. And there's also something um, for the ignition to let it rev a little bit higher. And you can see here the cylinders are not, they're not leaking or anything. I got it, again, some of this could just be cleaned up a little bit. I have not, I really didn't get clean up the motor or anything. Polish, I have not polished it or anything. The rest of this tank is really nice. So it's not... Let's, not, let's say not a perfect example, but it's like a collector quality example that could be ridden, enjoyed, and hopefully go up in value even more. I do have the stock parts. So I do have the stock intake, header, muffler, um, ignition stuff, mirrors. I think that's about it. So really hard to find one of these in stock condition, let alone this nice with the slow miles and this color combo and being a white lightning. So there's your look around. Uh, very, very fun machine. Thanks for checking it out.